Hello and welcome to the tutorial on how to install FIFA Manager Season 2020. And as you see here, and this is the address for the actual files and the, the kit and the mod, so to say. So you got some brief information here about the FIFA Manager update 2019-2020 season for FIFA Manager 13 and 14. And this is the beta version and basically updated transfers up to well, 28th of September 2019 so far and updated graphics, 3D kits and uh, World Cup mode and uh, a lot of different good stuff but most importantly of course uh, transfers and actual players in the right teams to this season and everything like that and one big thing is that is it's added team control so you can play the games or play uh, the games as a FIFA match for every game you actually manage the team. So that is a pretty neat feature. And also, of course, you do have this time around an editor where you actually can change things and editor is working. And I will show you that later in this tutorial. Uh, but how do you actually install the game though? Well, you gotta have FIFA Manager or FIFA 14 FIFA Manager 14 installed. That's uh, a requirement, of course. And if you don't have it or own it yourself, I have a link in the description where you can buy it for a good price. And I get a very small cut of uh, the price if you buy it from that link. So that's a good way to support me if you enjoy this tutorial or any other of the content that I'm doing here on the channel. But Enough of that, let's continue. So you go to this web address and links are in the description and then you go down to files and uh, you go to season 2020 beta and you press download now. And pressing download now you will get a file that is called season 2020 beta tar so you will need to open that and i have winrar you can use winzip or whatever and then you need to extract the files i've already done that so you see i have this folder season 2020 beta here and the file as you see is 7.4 gigabyte so uh, that is the room you could have on your computer for downloading the file and then you need as much to unzip it and a little bit more installing it. But you go in to the map structure and you press season 2020 installer and you press yes if you've got Windows 10 like me and get asked if it's you want to install with an uninsured, well not secure installer or something like that. And you just follow the instructions on the installer. So it's pretty darn easy. Just pressing forward here and you gotta choose where your FIFA manager folder is. For me, it's FIFA manager here on E. For you, it can be on C or wherever you install the game or under Steam or, well, EA Sports, it's under their installer. Uh, I don't remember what's it, what it's called, but uh, yeah, so and you just continue and you have there on the window before you have the option to install an update. If the mod makers come up with an update, you can only install the update, for example, if you have already installed this beta or something like that. So we'll cut here and we'll be right back once the installer have installed. So when you have installed that and you gotten all the way through the installer, you just press the green button like so and you have finished that. So if you are going to use the editor, you need to download an extra file for that. That will fix a small error in that. And the web address to that is here on Google Drive. And I will link that as well in the description and the file is editor fix FM 14 zip. So I've downloaded it already here and put it in season 2020 and I will just install it or rather unzip it to the file or the destination where I got FIFA Manager 13. So we'll press all right and we'll just replace everything here and that should be done now. So 
the next thing to do is to start the game. So let's first start with the actual manager and let's see, or the database manager and see that it will work. And it seems to be loading up just fine for now at least, so that's good. And uh, let's check that out once that has loaded uh, very briefly. So here we go, perfectly working editor and you can change a lot of things if you want to by pressing club settings for example you can change everything here a fan base the name of the team and uh, we'll yeah like here have here novel novel castrians for a new console united not that that used to it then you can set the players historical data and everything really and put them wherever you would like and i will certainly do some experiments with the database editor here in fifa manager further on as we go along this year and probably next year as well and uh, yeah so you can write current database for a game and it will be for the current database. Uh, the trouble with that is of course you can't really have a let's play series and do this at the same time. So that will be a little bit difficult to do but we'll see if we can't figure out something smart. Uh, probably do a backup database or something like that. So uh, for now I'm not going to save everything or I'm going to press yes. So other way around there it has to be sure that you have saved it if you are exiting and then of course loading up the game it's just running the game and if you have any problems it could be for a few different reasons i believe or at least it was that way for season 2019 and i will link those reasons in the description but here you have it fifa manager season 2020 and this is uh, First time loading it up for me as well, and uh, this is certainly a different uh, background or first image, so to say. But uh, there you have it. I hope you have learned something, and uh, yeah, if you have enjoyed the show or the tutorial, remember to smash that like button and also subscribe to the channel if you want to see my Let's Play series of the actual game and things like that or anything else really and you can press that small notification bell as well if you want to be really sure to not miss out on anything with that said thank you so much for watching and i'll see you next time bye bye you have been watching rollsclaw gaming and i hope you have enjoyed on clicking on the video on the left you will see the next video in this series and on the right our latest upload to the channel and with that said thank you again for watching